As we near this solstice, the longest day of the year, and when our garden is starting to harvest these wonderful things, we have to remember that it's not just the climb to the top of the mountain that is what we're after, but the view and then the return down to share these wonders with our friends and family. So uh, I'm about to harvest a lovely cauliflower and maybe have a gratin for dinner tonight, but the cauliflower and its consumption isn't the end point. The end point is when we can return that crop back to the earth and ensure that we have future cauliflower uh, and places to grow them. So uh, cauliflower, unlike broccoli, is a one-shot wonder. Uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, we got one chance at a lovely broccoli or cauliflower. Unlike the broccoli over here, which after the main crown is gone, it keeps making lovely side shoots that we can continue to eat and enjoy. So for the home gardener with limited space, the brassic world, the broccoli is going to give you a crown, a big beautiful show-off vegetable, and then lots of side shoots to um, don't talk with your mouth full. Sorry about that. But the cauliflower is where I'm getting to. Um, here it is, a lovely specimen. And once the cauliflower leaves start to open up and the sun starts to hit it, it starts to turn a little bit yellow. So the cauliflower wants to be uh, harvested just as the leaves start to open. If uh, you were concerned about that, you can also sort of take an elastic band and wrap the leaves up like that. But basically I break all the leaves off on the cauliflower down like that, address it, go, wow, you're beautiful. Sort of twist it over like that, get my knife into it, and there I have a lovely cauliflower. I'm just going to trim off all the leaves, and because we have lots of disease associated with the brassicas, all this stuff, instead of being taken to the compost pile, it's left right here to be turned into the ground. And this is the point that I was illustrating in the beginning. This isn't the end of this journey. This is just sort of the, the end point where I get to consume this lovely, beautiful thing for dinner tonight. But I'm still concerned with what's going on right here, the soil, and looking after it. So uh, not too long after this, um, once all this cauliflower is harvested, which is really gonna take the rest of this week, uh, soon after that, we come in with the rototiller, so a cover crop of buckwheat, something to hold the ground until we get ready for winter. So. Here is the solstice. This is to fatten me up so that I can make it to this point when the sun is high next year.